You'll definitely want to suck this cocktail. Ah! Greetings, peeps. Welcome to another episode of Kitchen Queers. Mitch in the bar here with you. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a Sable Kiss cocktail. And coming up later in this episode, my partner Chef Philip will join us to taste test the Sable Kiss cocktail. What is a Sable Kiss cocktail? Well, it's our original Kitchen Queers mix of very unique ingredients that results in a gorgeous sable hued cocktail. For the Sable Kiss cocktail, you'll need one shot light rum, one half shot velvet falernum, one half shot creme de cassis, one half shot blue curacao, and mandarin orange slices for garnish. To create the sugar rim on the glass, you'll need one shot lime juice and three to four ounces orange sanding sugar. Sanding sugar can be found in the baking aisle at the grocery store. Now I can show you how to put this cocktail together. This mix will be enough for one martini style cocktail. To begin, we need to prepare our serving glass. To create the sanding sugar rim, I'm using our handy glass rimming station. I'm serving the Sable Kiss cocktail in a bent stem martini style beverage glass. First, I'm going to wet the rim of the glass by dipping the glass in the sponge tray that I previously soaked with lime juice. Be sure to wet the entire rim of the glass. Next, dip the wet rim into the sanding sugar tray. And voila, a colorful sugar rim to complement our cocktail. Next, fill the cocktail shaker halfway full with ice cubes. I'm using a three-part cobbler style cocktail shaker. Now I'll add the light rum. Light rum has a dry, sweet flavor profile. Next, I'll add the velvet falernum. Velvet falernum is a sweet liqueur infused with almond, ginger, clove, and lime. Now it's time for the creme de cassis. Creme de cassis is a black currant flavored liqueur. And finally, I'll add the blue curacao. Blue curacao is an orange flavored liqueur. Now we want to be sure that we have the lid on the cocktail shaker securely, and it's time to shake. Shake the cocktail mixture vigorously for eight to 10 seconds. The exterior of the shaker will become very cold and frosty. Now it's time to pour. Let's see what result we got. Ooh, lovely ebony color. To finish off the presentation of this cocktail, I'm adding a mandarin orange on a cocktail pick. The Sable Kiss cocktail is ready to serve. Let's give the Sable Kiss cocktail a taste. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, that is so good. There are so many layers of flavor. First I get the rum and then the fruitiness from the creme de cassis. Then I get a hint of clove and the flavor of ginger from the velvet falernum. It's almost like a root beer flavor at the finish. This is a sweet cocktail, but it's not too sweet for me. This cocktail is spot on. I think you're gonna like it. Let's see what my partner Chef Philip thinks about the Sable Kiss cocktail. Ooh, isn't it beautiful? Let's give it a taste. Mmm, mm, that's delicious. Mmm, an interesting mix of flavors. Getting the rum and some citrus and some spicy overtones. It's really nice. Mmm. It's really lovely. Mmm, I love that sugar rim. It's really pretty. I think this would be perfect for a Halloween party. <laughs> hey, like our cool rainbow logo gear? Get your own at kitchenqueers.com. Just click on the lifestyle button. Thanks for joining us, Kitchen Queers. See you next time.